let's talk about the accounting cycle. The accounting cycle is like an eight or a nine step process whereby we create the income statement, the statement of retained earnings, and the balance sheet. Step one, we analyze business transactions to see if there's something for us to record. So if there's something that can be reliably measured in dollars, we will record it. Not everything gets recorded in our accounting records. For example, Freddie of Freddie's Auto Service rescues a motorist on the freeway and shows up on the news as a hero. That's good for business, but there's no way to reliably measure how good that is for our business, so there's no journal entry for us to make. Step two, if there is something to record, we record it with a journal entry. Journal entries use debits and credits. Debit means left, credit means right. One isn't good, one isn't bad. Our rules are assets increase with debits, liabilities and shareholders equity accounts increase with credits. Expenses are debits, expenses are debits, expenses are debits. The opposite of expenses, which is revenue, must be credits, and dividends start with D, and that reminds us that they're recorded with de uh, debits. For example, Freddie's Auto uh, Service sells $50,000 worth of common stock at par value. Debit cash for $50,000, credit common stock for $50,000. Step three, we post or copy all the journal entries to individual ledger accounts. So once we've done the journal entries, we have everything in chronological order. All we do is reorganize it by account. And in accounting class and in the real world, we often use T accounts to symbolize the uh, ledger accounts. For example, after that last transaction, we have a balance of cash of 50,000 and a credit balance for common stock of $50,000. Step four is to prepare a trial balance. We list all our accounts in the special order, assets, liabilities, owner's equity, revenue, and expenses, and we list the balance in each account. Notice there's not a debit and a credit next to cash. The balance in cash, when we offset all the debits against all the credits, the balance in the cash account is 36,800. And hopefully all our debits equal all our credits. If they don't, we know we've done something wrong and we have to go back and double check ourselves.